Bye bye to luck in. Got to go and get a grab now and head over to the bus station because I have a bus ride to get to the next destination. I don't, <laughs> I'm not really quite sure if I'm awake yet. Arrived at the bus station, it's a very busy little bus station. First of all, I headed in here and picked up a paper ticket and now I've been pointed in this direction to go and find the bus. And there are quite a few buses here. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that that might be my bus. I'm just kind of waiting in this little waiting area and the man in the shop just there keeps wanting to me to go in and buy things and eat things and I'm like no nope, I'm good thanks <laughs> making my way down to 818 not the largest compartments in the world and at least on this one I've got a little cubby hole on my own. We've just stopped for something to eat and a little bathroom break. I think I've got about another two, maybe two and a half hours left to go. Not entirely sure, but the driver doesn't speak any English. The guy next to me, he's really trying to um, help me with the language, but we're getting by, we're getting by. So I'm just waiting right next to the bus here because I have no idea how long the break is. I know the driver's gone for something to eat, but that's about it. This is my new room. It's Siri's homestay. Oh wow, it's lovely. I'll give you a little room tour. I have a lovely double bed and there's some, ah, oh, let's plug this in. Have a little look. Oh, look at that. Oh, Sarah would love this. I have got air conditioning and a fan in here, private bathroom shower amenities lovely oh look at that i've got my own fridge and a bit of a wardrobe and what's oh wow i have a little outdoor patio fantastic well definitely struck gold with this place fabulous and now i'm going to turn the air conditioning on and cool off a bit Oh wow, I am so broken. My back hurts so badly. I must have fallen asleep on that bus and caught myself in a strange angle because I'm in so much pain right now. But on a lighter note, I've got a really good feeling about this little place. My room is amazing and the beach, as you can see, look at that, I mean, Wow, it's just amazing. Now my first port of call is to try and find an ATM because I am running decidedly short on funds. This is the entrance to my new room. And this is me. My back isn't any better this morning. 
So I've just come down to this nice little coffee shop and for 28 dong I've ordered myself a coconut coffee. And then I think I'm going to have to go and sort my back out because I'm still not good. And when you order a coffee or any kind of drink, they bring you a little iced tea. My coconut coffee has arrived. <laughs> oh my word, that is really, really good. I like that lots. This place is definitely less touristy than any other places in Vietnam I've visited so far. There is no signs in English. They're all in Vietnamese, the way it should be. Um, yeah, and it's got a really nice feel about it. I kind of think that maybe in a few years time, it's going to be a bit of a tourist hub. But at the moment, I like it very much. It amazes me, this beautiful beach, miles of it, and not a single solitary person on it. Oh my word, a road in Vietnam with no traffic. Wow, it's very impressive, but I'm the only person here. There is nobody, there's no security, there's no ticket office, there's no information. I don't know, but I'm glad I've walked it. I've just ordered these two. I have no idea what they are, but the lady says, do, do I want them cut up? So she's cutting them up for me. I don't understand what all this is, but I'm sure I'll work it out. Okay, so you take some of this and some of this and you wrap it up in those, get the paper and then you put that in the paper and then you put all the veggies in the paper and then roll them up. So this little place that I've just come to is a coffee shop called Funny Coffee and it's really nice. The coconut coffee is really good. So today I'm going to go and see if I can't get one of those little, see that little yellow bus thing and take a tour. I was going to go up to the Big Buddha but it's about a 40 minute taxi and there's 700 stairs to climb and I kind of think with my back the way it is that maybe it's not a good idea. So now I'm gonna go and look for my little bus to take a tour, see how much it is. Okay, just to give you your bearings, down here is where my hostel is. This is funny coffee here. I had my massage there and then you've got a couple of statues just here. So I'm going to head down that way and see if I can't find one of these tourist buses to be ripped off by. <laughs> no, I think that they've got their prices written very clearly on the side of their buses, so that should be good. An appearance of my hat I bought in Australia is back as well. The um, black one that I had, it started to break already. It's still okay, I can get away with it, but it's, um, shall I say it's not the finest quality. <laughs> so I'm back with my Mac Pack hat, which I have to say, it's a great hat. Okay, so I walked from the coffee shop all the way down past the statues and everything and I couldn't find any of the little tourist buses so I've walked back and lo and behold I found some. So I'm going to wander down now. There they are, a little line of them. Two hurdles to cross. The first one is crossing the road and the second one is to get a good price. Come on, help me. <laughs> Two 
150 dong for one hour and they will take us, they will take me all the way around the outside of the town. I'm not sure how much English it speaks so I don't know how much I'm going to get told. But at least it saves my poor old legs. <laughs> Driving at night, windowless ride, feeling alive. Nothing in sight, forever in flight. Follow those lines, we'll make it this time. Blurry street lights, work as a guide to memories that we're making tonight. Oh yeah, we'll make it tonight. Yeah. down any of these side roads and there's all bustling markets and yeah, lovely. Absolutely. I'm so glad that I came here. Just the right thing back after a trip round the outside of the city. Very good. Saved my legs as well. Inside for the needs of life, they wanna be like by everybody in sight. But trust me, being free ain't spotlights. No, it's long nights and it's long fights with yourself all the time to get your okay. Thank you. I am so glad that I did that. They did say that it was on the meter, and when I actually got off, the meter said 450,000 dong. But the price was actually 250,000 and he took me all the way around the outside and yeah it was really nice there wasn't any like talking commentary because apart from okay and a thumbs up that's about all the English he spoke <laughs> but it was really nice to have a little trip around and see the entire area without having to walk it because my back is still so that's not my back it's my shoulder blades just up here on the um, right hand side I must have fallen asleep on the bus and laid funny because it's like a trapped nerve or something anytime I move it it hurts so I think in a couple of days it will have eased the massage definitely did help but I think I'm going to wander down and try and find the shopping mall now because with a bit of luck there's some air conditioning in there. Come on, you can come with me. Although, just before we go, I want to show you the beach here because it is now just got, well, just coming up to half past 11 and there is not a single solitary person. Have a look at this. So, I can tell you now for nothing, if this was in the UK or anywhere in Europe, that beach would be packed, absolutely packed with people. Here on the east coast of Vietnam, not one, not a single person, although the temperature 
is really, really hot. The thought of having too much of me exposed to this sun, yeah, it's not good. That's why a lot of people actually wear these complete cover-ups because the sun is vicious. And this is where I was the other night and they were doing keep fit just there. And my homestay is just down there. Right near the night food market. Just made it back to my homestay and I'm gonna go have a little lie down and a siesta for a while. I am so hot, I am melting. I have to say I absolutely love staying here. It's been brilliant staying in a homestay. Oh my word. I tell you what, I'm sweating. Oh gosh, it looks like I've wet myself. <laughs> oh no. I am so hot, it's ridiculous. Right, I'm going for a shower. I'm gonna get one of these and I think it's egg. That's what I'm hoping it is anyway. So I've just got one of these as a snack. I'm not really sure what it is, but I showed him a picture of an egg. So I think it's got egg in it, but don't quote me on it. And it costs 30,000 dong, which is about a pound. I don't believe it, it's got carrot in it. <laughs> Oh no, it's not carrot, it's a prawn. <laughs> it's got a prawn. Let's see if I can open it. Oh goodness me. Let me see if I can turn the camera around and show you what's in there. Okay, so I don't know how this is gonna come out, but in here it's got some kind of meat. It's got a little egg, prawn. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what that is. And a little piece of spicy meat. Wow. Hmm. It's really good. Don't know what it's called, but it's nice. Okay, this is tonight's delight. It's a kind of spring roll, but it's I think it's got a prawn inside it. So what you actually do is you get one of these leaves and you put the spring roll in the leaf, wrap it up, dunk it in the sauce, and then eat it. Very good. 